Hey guys, it's Fraser here, and in this video I'll be showing you how we can use SQL Lite 3 in Windows 10, so let's get straight into the video. Okay, so first we're going to create our database, so what we want to do is open up the command prompt, and then we want to navigate to it wherever we are going to have our database located, so I'm going to just locate it on the desktop, and then what I'm going to do is just type SQL Lite 3, and then the name which you want our database to have. So I'm just going to call it website.db. And now the database has been created and it will appear on our desktop uh, in a second. So what we want to do is just create a table first. So we're just going to, in fact, if we list our databases, you can see that it has in fact been created and now it has appeared on our desktop. So now let's create the table. And we're just going to call this users and then we're going to have an ID for each user and this is going to be an int and it's going to be primary key and then we are going to have a name variable and then it's going to be a varchar with a length of 20 and if we just press enter now don't forget the semicolon because otherwise it won't execute as SQL code. Now we have created a table so if we do dot tables you should be able to see that now we have our users table. So what if we want to insert values into our table? Well for that we can do insert into and then the table name which is users and then we want to type in ID and name and what we want to put into that. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do a value of zero and then we're just going to, I don't know, a name of um, Bob. There we go. And I'm just going to put this in quotation marks. And then we're just going to do a semicolon and press enter again. Oh, and in fact, this should be values instead of a semicolon. So there, if you just replace that with the word values, and then we press enter, and then it ha that has been added to our database. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to do a few different names, and then add these to our users table, and then we're going to display it. So we're just going to have Bob and Tom, and then Steve. Uh, oh, in fact... That has failed just because we've got two values which are both one and we cannot have that. So we're just going to make that two and then we're just going to add another one. We're just going to, I don't know, call this Lucy. Uh, there we go. We now have four values entered into our table. So to display the table, we're just going to do select and then star, which represents all from uh, the table name, so which is users. And then we end that with a semicolon and then we execute this. You can now see that it has displayed our table. So we've got all of the user IDs from 0 to 3 and then all of the names in our tables. And so yeah, that's how you create and insert a table. And what if you want to then delete the table and then the whole database. So to do that, what we're going to type is drop and then your the table name. So if that so we're going to drop table and then the table name which was users in fact and then oh, do a semicolon and then if we do ta tables now you can see that we have no tables uh, it's because it's not printed out any of the table names and then if you do control C then you will quit the SQLite program and then what you can do if you want to completely remove the uh, database is just delete the file and so that is how you use SQLite 3 within Windows 10, create databases, destroy databases, insert values, and then create tables within them. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a lot about SQLite 3. Check out my other videos on SQLite 3 where I use them within HTML and PHP. And bye bye.